I'm sure you've all heard the expression, don't judge a book by its cover. When it comes to comic books, a lot of times the cover makes a big difference in the value and whether or not you want to try a book, whether or not you think it looks like it's worth checking out. Spider-Man, many versions of the book over the years, many Spider-Man variations, very exciting to see, very interesting to look at, important to have covers because it tells you what else might be in the book or upcoming books, what other covers might be available. Sometimes a single individual cover may be more valuable than another cover. Sometimes we look at them closely, comparing, to try to decide which cover we think has less imperfections and has greater value or will have greater value. Sometimes something is more shocking in appearance or different, Picasso-like according to some comparisons. And we think that it'll be more valuable because of that. And sometimes, because it's so subjective, we do value something more highly just because it's different or offensive. And then of course there are new characters, somebody who looks interesting and might be exciting. And when it comes to the value of a comic book, if, you've read, if you watched one of the previous videos, you saw that because one of my comic books was missing a back cover, at least it was after it was evaluated, it was worth less. A lot of times people care a lot about whether or not you have a back cover. On a new book like this, it's questionable how much difference it'll make in the long run. But you can be guaranteed it's not worth as much without that back cover. It's still better off to have the front cover than no cover. But as you can see, that book isn't worth nearly as much already. This book, according to some, is already worthless. But it was very hot, according to others, very recently, and might still be super hot later. And so you don't want to rip off the cover unless you're sure you don't care about that book. I won't go into all the other things that can, well, I could go into all the other things, and I probably will sometime. But right now, obviously, don't grab your comic books, get a hold of the cover and tear it off. Even if you catch extra pages, <laughs> it doesn't help. And in the long run, if you care about your comic books, you'll probably prefer to have them complete and whole. Don't hand it on to your brother. Keep the one you ripped the cover off for yourself.